do it. How do you pray for the lost? Well, I've written a prayer about that. As we look into this man's eyes, there's so many people around us who do not have a personal relationship with Jesus. And we want to help bring them into that personal relationship. And we're going to be looking at praying God's word for salvations. How do we do it? Let's look into this. People are walking down the street all by themselves, alone, feeling lonely, feeling like there's got to be something more to life than what they're experiencing. They're all over the place. We walk in our cities, we walk in our streets, we see there's so many people who are lost and needy and are searching. So let's pray this prayer together. I encourage you to pray it out loud with me. Lord, I pray that you would teach me to yield myself to your spirit as I pray for the salvation of those who do not know you. Holy Spirit, teach me to trust you as a living person who leads my life in my prayers. I long to see your power in my life, just as the Apostle Paul did as he reached out to the lost. 1 Corinthians 2, 2 through 5. I thank you that you indwell, seal, sanctify, and empower me. You guide me, teach me, and pray through me. Help me to partner with you as I use your word in praying for the salvation of my family, friends, and co-workers. Make me sensitive to your promptings and teach me to partner with you in praying your word over those who are searching for you. Jesus, I want to prioritize prayer for others just as you did on earth. You withdrew to lonely places to pray. Mark 1.35, Luke 5.16. You were faithful in intercession and even prayed whole nights. Teach me to be faithful in prayer. Help me to remember the lost when I pray. Now I want you to bring before the Lord five unsaved family members or friends. You can pause this and just think about it and then write them down. Bring them before the Lord in prayer. Show them that the free gift of eternal life is in you alone. Romans 6.23, John 3.16. Help me to be your witness and love them. Help me to show warm-hearted acts of kindness towards them. I know that love comes from you, 1 John 4, 7. Help me to show love towards everyone I meet. Love always hopes and believes. Now I want you to again pause this and pray all of 1 Corinthians 13. It's a love chapter in the Bible. And pray for these qualities in your life as you pray, because we need these qualities in our life as we pray for the lost. Help me to be active in sharing my faith. Philemon 6. I thank you that I can be your witness everywhere I go. Acts 1 8. I thank you that the darkness vanishes as I pray for the lost. Thank you for convicting the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. John 16 8. I pray that you will soften the hearts of, now name one by one, others you may know. Make a list who do not know Christ. Bring them before the Lord and keep that list in order to keep on praying this prayer. Remove the spiritual blindness from their eyes and help them to understand the truth about you. Bring them to repentance and salvation, Acts 3.19. I believe that you are working in their hearts even as I pray. Help me to let my light shine before men that they may see my good deeds and glorify my Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Help me to be your light in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And as you think about your friends, your coworkers, there's maybe like, like this girl can't see because there's flowers in front of her face and maybe they can't see. But as you bring the glorious beauty of Jesus before them, as you pray for them, God will open their eyes and they will see the truth. So God bless you as you move forward, and I encourage you to pray this prayer often. Amen.